I call to order this meeting of the canvassing authority of the Laredo College for the purpose of canvassing the results of the Laredo College November 8th, 2022 Board of Trustees election returns. I will now take roll call. Mr. Delgado. Uh, Tita Candu Vela. Absent. Karina Elizondo. Absent. Esther Marangel. Absent. Dr. Henry Caranza. Absent. Mercurio Martinez Jr. Absent. Cynthia Mares. Absent. Jackie Lemon Ramos. On her way. Jorge Delgado. Present. And Ms. Lupita Cepeda. Present. Today's canvas of the election returns is the official act of finalizing the results of the election. A tabulation has been prepared stating for each candidate the total number of votes received in each precinct, precinct, the sum of the precinct totals, and for each precinct, the total number of voters who cast the ballot for a candidate. I will now turn the canvas over to Dr. Veronica Martinez. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Delgado, Dr. Ramirez, and executive officers. My name is Dr. Veronica Martinez. I'm the Associate Vice President for Planning and Institutional Effectiveness and served in the capacity of Elections Officer, for the record. Today, I would like to present to you the, uh, the reports of the results summary that we received from the Webb County Elections Office yesterday afternoon. And I would like to uh, indicate that each of you have a copy at your, at your seat. You do have a copy of the return sheet as well as the individual uh, information from each recent report. For the record, I will read the information on the return sheet um, as a record of the total number of votes received and the candidate that received the most votes. So based on the return sheet of the November 8, 2022 joint general election received from Mr. Jose Luis Castillo, elections administrator for the county of Webb, Texas, as of November 15, 2022, the final numbers for the votes returned for the Pareto College Board of Trustees candidate elections are as follows. The name of candidate for trustee place one, Lino E. Sanchez, received 9,627 votes, which uh, amounts to 26.23%. The other candidate for place one, Erica Benavides Garcia, received 27,069 votes, a percentage of 73.77%. For place two, we had five candidates. The first candidate, Frank Sherafa, received 6,982 votes for a percentage of 18.32%. Candidate two, Cindy Liendo, received 19,188 votes for a percentage of 50.35%. Candidate three, Priscilla Pantoja, received 5,968 votes for a percentage of 15.66%. Candidate four, Will Shrout, received 3,984 votes for a percentage of 10.46%. Candidate five, Terry Nealon, received 1,984 votes for a percentage of 5.21%. For place three, candidate one, Jean Bell Juarez, received 16,795 votes for a percentage of 44.47%. And candidate two, Mercurio Martinez Jr., received 20,976 votes for a percentage of 55.53%. The total number of voters who voted, as indicated by the Elections Office report in Webb County, were 43,697 votes. These numbers have been validated by the Elections Administrator, and I present them to you today 
for a total canvassing of votes. Thank you, Dr. Martinez. I move to accept the tabulation of the election results. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This completes the canvas of the November 8, 2022 election results. The canvas is now concluded. Thank you, Dr. Martinez, again. Thank you, everybody, for attending. Thank you.